I'm Dr. Richard Salzano, Chairman of the Department of Surgery at Griffin Hospital and a thoracic surgeon who is co-director of our lung cancer screening program. I'd like to tell you about our exciting new technology called navigational bronchoscopy. The navigational system allows us to take the patient's own CT scan, load it into our Super Dimension software, and target the lung lesion, which will be seen here in the left lower lobe of the patient's CT scan. We then draw a pathway through the patient's own bronchial tree that will be superimposed on a virtual 3D reconstruction of the patient's own anatomy. The pathway will be seen in purple with the lesion seen as a small green ball. We then get a virtual fly-through of the patient's airway, taking us on a path from the upper trachea to the lesion itself. Our camera position on the left is correlated with the 3D reconstruction seen on the right. A variety of images allows us to fuse the two images and get an accurate pathway to our lesion seen again as a small green ball. During registration in the operating room, our catheter tip seen on the right during bronchoscopy is detected by an electromagnetic field, creating a positional map which is merged with our virtual map. Not unlike your GPS system that positions your car on a street map and gives you real-time information as to your car's location. We then verify that the virtual images seen on the left are the same as the actual bronchoscopy images seen on the right. Our catheter, which is much thinner than our bronchoscope, can be advanced beyond our field of vision into the appropriate pathway as determined by our mapping system. We then guide our catheter to the lesion, shown again in green, along our predetermined pathway, constantly aware of our catheter tip in relation to the lesion itself. Our distance from the lesion is always known in real time. We keep our lesion central to the catheter and advance the catheter until we are close enough to biopsy directly. Our variety of image recreations allows us to center our lesion and get fairly accurate tissue samples. This approach allows for a reduced complication rate for lung biopsies as compared to CT-guided needle biopsies with similar diagnostic yields.